Hey everyone, TechnoManager here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPhone home screen on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. Now this is on iOS 26 I'm going to show you. So when it comes to customizing your home screen, there's a couple things you can do. First thing is you can go ahead and change up how this feature looks, like the icon, the size, the color. In order to do that, you're going to pick any app, doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick one app and long press and hold. And then I'm going to click on edit home screen. When I click on edit home screen, apps are going to move around. But at the very top left corner, I'm going to see an option that says edit. So I'm going to tap on edit and then I can click on customize. And when I do that, another menu pops up. Now this allows me to do a couple customization. First thing is I can switch the color. So if I wanted to go from the default one to a dark, I can do that. I can also go to a clear, which is a new feature on iOS 26 and I can also use a color tint if I didn't want any of those maybe I wanted a different tint I can go ahead and switch that move the intensity and there's a couple other options here I can play around with it and if I want dark on that tint I can also do that and then finally I can also make the apps bigger if I clicking on this little icon up top here allows me to have bigger icons as well and I can also click on this here for daytime how it's going to look versus nighttime so that's how I can do it and all of this is basically you're going to want to go ahead and play with it until you like the customization and tap on it and then as you can see here those customization has been applied now let's go ahead and show you another way to customize it maybe you want to move around apps so in order to do that you're going to click on edit home screen again by pressing on to any app so let's say I want to move this widget up here I want to maybe move some like apps around. I can do that. Maybe a certain specific layout I want to try. You can go ahead and move things around the way you like it and then tap anywhere to exit out. Now, maybe I want to add a new widget. So what I'll do is I'll long press and hold on the app, click on edit home screen, click on edit up top here, and I'm going to click on add a widget. Now, this gives me a lot of these new widgets I can add. I can look around. Let's go ahead and select one. When I select one, I have the option to customize the size of that widget. I'm just going to keep it as default, add that widget. Now, that widget has been added. Maybe I want to move this one up here. I can just drag it over, and now I can do that. I can go ahead and to that edit option again. Go ahead and click on customize. And this time, maybe I want to go back to the default color. So I'll go back here. Or I want to go to clear. So I want to see how the clear looks. And that's how the clear looks. So as you can see here, this is the transparent clear glass, liquid glass icon look that I have. Now, another thing you might also want to consider doing is putting apps in a folder. In order to do that, for example, if I want to put this app in a folder, I just press onto it and then drag it over to a folder. So I have this folder. I'm just going to place it on top. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky depending on how you're doing it. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's try to add it in this folder. So I'm adding it to another folder I created. So you can create a folder by basically overlaying an app into that. And as you can see here, you can place the app. If you wanted to, you can also customize the name of this by just simply using it and then clicking on Done. If you didn't want an app, you can just drag it out and then place it back. So those are a couple customization you can do. So usually with any customization, you're going to start by pressing and holding any app, click on edit home screen, and then click on edit, and then you can add cust widget, customize. You can also do uh, edit the wallpaper, and then also edit pages. If I want to do edit pages, I can maybe move around the pages as well. As you can see here, this page will come first uh, after this one, or this one, you can move the ordering around however you like, or if you, you can move that around. And as you can see here, I click on done now my apps are in different layout so again there are a lot of different ways to customize your iphone home screen you just want to go ahead and figure out what works best for you and i hope this video was helpful so please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time